Be it therefore resolved that the Davis County Republican Party expresses its sincere appreciation to Senator Kurt Bramble and Representative Dan McKay for their efforts to preserve the caucus convention system. Senator Weiler, would you like to speak in favor of your resolution? I would, thank you. Todd Weiler, Woods Cross 5. <clears throat> um, I, I ran this resolution for one simple reason. I really appreciate what Jerry Zevin said today. Um, I ran this resolution because a lot of people have asked me why the legislature did what it did. And it's not as if the legislature woke up one morning and said, we want to change the caucus system. Uh, if you read the whereases on your own, we were faced with what we thought was a choice. We could either lose 100% of the caucus system or save about 90% of it. I voted for Senate Bill 54, not because I hate the caucus. I voted for Senate Bill 54 because I love the caucus. And I was afraid that with the radio ads, with Mitt Romney's support, with Mike Levitt's support, with Gail Miller's money, that we were going to lose 100%. Uh, they were running radio ads that were very distorted. I spoke against Count My Vote on the Senate floor twice. I blogged against it. I Facebooked against it. I did everything I could to fight Count My Vote, but they were winning the battle. And as a legislature, we can only meet until March 14th. This would have been on the ballot, I believe, last November, and had it passed, it would have been the will of the people to have no caucuses, a direct primary for a generation. Just like vouchers, vouchers passed, I was opposed to it. We can't touch vouchers now because the will of the people is spoken. This resolution just says what James Evans said, the legislature has a different role. Everyone that I know, every Republican, including Gary Herbert, that supported Senate Bill 54, did it because they didn't like count my vote, but they wanted to preserve the caucus. We would not be having this debate today on either resolution had Count My Vote succeeded. We would not be having this debate. Thank you. Of course it's my opinion, I'm saying that. It's not even, I'm not hearing anybody else's opinion but mine. I'm Todd Weiler, County Delegate, the Woods Cross Fire. Our budget and liberties are essential. And we're seeing Don Don Guyman was not a full three. Our, 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 our liberties are essential. Freedom of religion. Freedom, we're seeing attacks on our civil liberties. My concern with SB 54 was this, this attack took away some of our liberties. It took away our right of free speech. It took away our, our right of assembly. Rights we've given away, we can never oftentimes receive back unless they're costly court battles such as we're having to receive. I have a different opinion about whether the state senate or the, the legislature was forced into the position they were. I was a part of a group that was monitoring the collection of signatures that Count My Vote was giving. And in our opinion, if we look at one of the rural counties, there weren't very many signatures in rural Utah. And as the sponsor's amendment can verify, I have asked them if Count My Vote gave our legislators the count breakdown of a signature gathering by Senate District could you have to get a certain number of signatures in a certain number of counties. They didn't have that information. So I am convinced that SB 54 was necessary. Now SB 54, the way it was passed, I have concerns with. The bill was modified, was introduced on March 3rd, and passed both houses up on March 5th, giving very little time for public input or value. Um, it was so flawed, the process, at one time, would have allowed someone who wasn't a Republican to run as a Republican to pass the bill this year. Now, once again, they had to do what they had to do. And if they felt that was right, then that, that has to be their decision. But I'm not sure if we should be thanking them for taking away our liberties. Thank you.
this this quote there was nothing said by the judge and the, this i question lee stabler let's district 22 chair precinct uh five senator but we've had this problem in the past and as we start to let everyone that's got a message on a cell phone start to speak this meeting's going to be till the end of the day and it's just it's just a fair thing for everybody and so you, your, your point of clarification was that. appropriate, and are we going to allow this to happen? No one said anything of their own opinion. Someone from outside this convention, non-credentialed, was just speaking at this microphone by proxy. Okay, you no uh, concern. Speech. If we don't like it, we still have to be civil in the speech. Thank you. 